It's actually just beat Angry Birds as the most popular app in the country. <laughs> it's got a horrible name, at least in my opinion. It's called the Ugly Meter Pro, and it claims to measure 100 points on your face with special software to determine how attractive or unattractive you are. Uh, the company says the highest ranked celebrity was Beyonce, who got a 92, not a surprise. Brad Pitt apparently got a 91. Angel Angelina Jolie got an 89. Jay Leno was apparently the lowest ranked celebrity with an 11. Um, <laughs> it works for him though, doesn't well, it? Well, yeah, he's, he's doing fine with, uh, with his 11. Uh, I put the app to the test before the show. Kristen has my score, yes. they took my picture. What's my score? First of all, what do you think your score is? I have no idea. Uh, I mean, I, I don't, well, part. first of all, let me just say for the record, I think this is ridiculous because I think what makes a person beautiful, to your point, is a lot of internal, inside. Uh, inside but also, I think lack of symmetry is actually attractive. I think when there's something interesting in the face or quirky or different right. or an interesting mix of ethnicities, I think that is what makes yes. somebody beautiful. Yes. So, honestly, when I see like a model, good looking person, perfectly symmetrical, I mean, yes, I understand that they're beautiful, but it doesn't, they're not attractive to me. I, I think, I think when somebody is interesting looking, yes. that's when somebody's that's what really That's what we beautiful. have to embrace is the things that makes us different. Yeah. I used to hate being 4'11". I hated it. People picked me up and put me in their pocket all the time. And <laughs> I just, I just wanted to be normal, but I'm going to tell you that your score is, don't be offended, lower okay. than I thought it would be. Okay. Um, it's a 60. Okay, fine. No, not, exactly fine, I'm fine right? With that. But um, I'm not very symmetrical. I got, I don't know, weird eyes, and I've got a shape, a head well, that's shaped like ET, like the letter I'm going to tell you, you're. you're <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm convinced my head is shaped like ET. Is now look from the side. It's like, look, I've got this weird growth in the back of my. Like, what is this it part of my your, head? Your head is slightly long compared to the your, the width. Okay, yeah, sure, so it's true. That, this is the Cooper bump in Mississippi. That's Everyone, right. Yes, and the Cooper nose I have. Apparently. But you know what? It, I say it's where all your brains are. <laughs> You have to have a big head. You got no, a lot of brains no, in there. I used to be like I, when I was. I used to consider myself like the elephant man. Like I was afraid of sleeping down <laughs> that I would. I would like because my head was so big.